the dangerous heat once again at the top of the news here. The sustained heat in the southwest showing no signs of letting up, and now it's on the move. It's just unrelenting. The stubborn heat dome shifting toward the northern plains and Midwest with some spots to get a taste of those triple-digit temperatures that have just baked other parts of the country. So much of the country. So let's begin this morning with ABC's Zareen Shaw, who joins us live from Palm Springs, California, where it has been at or above 115 degrees for nine days in a row to tie the record there. My goodness, Zareen, good morning. Yeah, Janae, this heat is suffocating. In fact, firefighters have this vehicle here with everything they think they could possibly need in extreme heat, including this cooling room right over here. You can see that AC right there. It can be 120 degrees outside and 60 degrees in here. That is something they think they will need a lot more of as the temperatures continue to soar. This morning, the unrelenting heat wave spreading across the country, simmering from California to Florida. Heat alerts for 40 million Americans remain as officials urge people to stay indoors. Do we expect increases uh, of, of all uh, types of emergencies? Absolutely. Las Vegas, Fresno, Salt Lake City, all under excessive heat warnings. It's literally feeling like heat is radiating from everywhere, whether it's like the ground, the sky, the bush. I don't know. It's coming from everywhere. It's like suffocating. It's suffocating. Phoenix shattering a record with its now 23rd straight day of heat in excess of 110 degrees. The city without any measurable rainfall for four months. The brutal heat taking lives. Last week, 18 people passing away due to heat-related illness. And officials at the Maricopa County Department of Public Health investigating nearly 70 other deaths as possibly caused by the extreme conditions. El Paso could also hit its 37th straight day of 100 degree or more heat. It's about 113. And Palm Springs reaching a record ninth consecutive day at or above 115 degrees. Sticky, just a, <laughs> uh, just a temperature shock yeah. to you. You're just like, oh my God. Firefighters say they've had many emergency calls and we joined them on one of them. And they say at least 26 can definitely be linked as purely heat related since just Friday. Don't try to tough it out and, uh, um, uh, you know, follow those signs. Listen to those signs. Your body knows. Firefighters are worried about health issues. They are also worried about an increased fire risk. As of last Monday, California officials responded to over 3,300 vegetation fires just this year and over 300 in just the last week. Janae. Oh, but as you said, you got to listen to your body. Your body knows, Zoreen. Thank you. Now let's get a sense of where this heat is heading next. Samara Theodore is here with the forecast. Samara, good morning. Good morning, Janae. So it's not really moving out of the southwest that much. I can tell you in Palm Springs for the next four days, they're looking at 110 or higher. Phoenix still soaring to around 116 this afternoon. But look what's happening. We start to see that ridge push farther northward. This is an area that was unseasonably cool. Just a week ago, we saw temperatures in the 60s and 70s. But now in Fargo, nearing 100 degrees by Wednesday. Lincoln, Nebraska, 100 for the start to the work week. Even Kansas City, Missouri, around 100 degrees on Tuesday. Uh, and so that heat continues as we head through the week. And as we look at this long format uh, forecast from July 28th to August 1st, you can really see see much of the country is going to be above average. Cities like New York and to the Northeast will be in the upper 90s. That's a look at the weather. Uh, Janae, back to you. All right, Samara, thank you. And tune into this week later this morning with a climate in crisis. Martha Raddatz speaks with Washington Governor Jay Inslee about the record-breaking heat wave and what can change. Plus, after Martha's exclusive U.S. nuclear submarine access in South Korea, she'll speak with House Foreign Affairs Committee Chair Michael McCall about those rising tensions with North Korea. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.